welcome back to Sunday League Virtual. We're here starting off the second half of the season after a little bit of a break from the normal routine. We're here for a double header going to Istanbul Park today and then immediately afterwards going to Yongam for the Turkish and Korean Grand Prix. Um, should be an interesting one here today in Turkey. Uh, drivers may be a little bit rusty after not having raced for a couple of weeks, a little mid-season break there. Let's run you through the token usage if I can. So, anti-taking three, Vlad, none. None for either of the PMP drivers. Uh, Julian with one, with Rita with four, he's looking like a favourite today. Het with none, Lev with one, Goose with three, Blue Milk Boy with none. That's the first half of the token users. I'll do the second half once we see the results of the qualifying session. Rito takes pole position by just over a tenth of a second. Goose lines up alongside him on the front row. Trixie in third place. Julian makes a double top four for comedy racing. Their strong start to the season continues today. X610, Thunder X also looking to challenge COR in the championship. He starts fifth. Bluebell Boy makes it a double top six for FVR with an all team velocity row for Yoshi Josh ahead of Eurus. Jake Brad puts it up into the top 10, starting in 11th place. Landy rounds out the top 10. Anti in 11th place. Uh, Andres takes 12th. Grandy in 13th. He's not using any tokens today, so not a bad quality from him. Spooner, 14th place for him. Sobel in 15th for PMP, 16th and 17th are the SPMs of Lev and Hetmanek, 18th is somehow I made it, 19th Golden Phoenix, and 20th for Vlad 0204. Yes, a quick recap of token usage, Anti starting 11 with 3 tokens, um, somehow I made it, no tokens, none of it, neither Phoenix nor Sobel, who start 19th and 15th respectively, 1 for Julian 55. 5545 starting in fourth place. Four for Rito starting on pole. None for Hetmanuka starting in uh, 17th place just by his teammate Levioso who is using one. Game on Goose, three tokens. He's starting on the front row. Blue Boy, his teammate, no tokens starting in sixth. Great, great, great uh, shift from him. Jake Brad using no tokens, nor is M. Andres. Jake Knight, Andres 12th, so not a bad card to put themselves there. Yoshi Josh, no tokens for him. One for Eurist, they start 7th and 8th. Yoshi ahead of Eurist, surprisingly. Uh, we've got X extent on the three token usage. He's starting 5th place, not bad at all. Uh, Grandi with no tokens use, pretty decent, 13th too. Uh, Vlado 2 with no tokens starting last, while well, Landy starts inside the top 10 also with no tokens, so somewhat surprising that seeing the golf in uh, performance between the two teammates. Trixie using two tokens, he'll be starting up in third place, very good quality there. Spooner with just the one token, down in 14th. Time to get underway for the Turkish Grand Prix. Five lights ahead of the drivers, we're underway here in Turkey. Rito leads them away from Paul, this will get a good start. Trixie looking to make a move on Goose in the background. We've got a little bit of squabbling X6 trying to make a move up through there. Bluebell, can he go around the outside of X6? He can't quite. Julian down in sixth place, he's dropped a couple places off the start. Anti with a brilliant start, he's up into seventh. Eurus goes around his outside at that tight, tight corner with a little bit of runoff help, and he gets past Julian to Eurus, now up into 6th place, they're all in a constant teen ahead, Ju uh, Julian using, losing yet more places, going down to ninth place now, Spooner in 10th, Sobel in 11th, Bassett with Yoshi and Lev, they're 3 wide, coming into this right hand, but Lev has to back out, <coughs> <coughs> apologies, back up at the front, we've got uh, Rito still leading us away, he's in very strong contention for the championship and a great race today, taking on 25 points, would massively help his efforts, Goose, still where he started, second place for him, X6 with a few positions made up at the start, running in the podium positions at the moment, Trixie in fourth place, little token recap, Rito using four, Goose using three, uh, X6 using three as well, Trixie using two, that won't matter to him as he goes all the way around the outside of the final corner, gets the better drag, 
to the line, and at the beginning of lap 4, he's into third place. XX fights it back immediately. Great scrap going through this first sector. He'll come out ahead. Looks like XX just has the upper hand for the time being. Trixie saves a little bit of boost, though. And yeah, he's just trying to complete that down the straight. He's not being able to catch XX back, you would have thought. It'll be a tough fight for him. Tough ass. Anti on the hearts up into fifth place. We could see him leading this race. He's had a pretty abysmal season thus far, but he's changed his token plan and he's trying to get some big points. Blue Bell Boy does manage to get back past him. So Blue Bell Boy, to my calculations, should be using no tokens today. So amazingly, he's doing this well, this um, already. <coughs> Apologies for the coughing, that's just a side effect of not feeling too great today, but we get the racing regardless. The rain on the way here, Julian in 10th place now, starting really well, just falling back through the pack after that. Yoshi looking to take a move on, and Andy, can he make one, can he sneak one? So the top 10 all still out on the dry tyres, the bottom 10 all having pitted for the inter straight cut there. And we'll have a look to see how these top 10 fall into the pit lane if they trip over each other. Oh, very interesting. The clouds are coming back. Oh, exit sideways into the pits. That's going to lose him a little bit of time. Not enough to be behind Trixie. Uh, Yoshi, meanwhile, hasn't hit it because the clouds are coming back immediately. So he'll just be in in the next couple of laps anyways for a normal dry switch. And he's in 7th place. Julian in 6th. Rito out of the lead. Took the wet. Not the right choice at all. Will he surrender the lead to Goose coming to this final corner? It looks like he just got saved by the bell there. We'll see how the non-stoppers, particularly Julian on the hards, will come out of this because they might have to pull themselves up through the field. Trixie having to go in there. Julian takes the lead in the Turkish Grand Prix from 10th place just a couple laps ago. Plays the strategy card bang on and does manage to get himself into the lead of the race ahead of his teammates on fresh socks. So he's not going to be lucky to put up too much of a fight there. Also, honourable mentions of Eurist on the mediums, who's now up in fourth place. He's had a great last couple of races, a podium and a win after that terrible DNF hit him in Brest. We've got move up here, Rito and Goose fighting it out. Bill will get through into this tight corner. Rito with the switchback, a lovely, lovely move on Goose, getting himself back through, back into second place. <coughs> Big slipstream on his teammate now. This will be for the lead of the race. Julian surely going to be asked to move out of the way. He is. He just takes a little line off the racing line and he's going to give that position up. He needs to defend harder against Goose though. Goose has the position for now. Julian does defend it. Back into turn two. Goes round the outside. Goose lunges to the inside. And all this defending massively helping out his teammate. They may be competing with each other for the driver's title. But they're going to work as one entity to try and win the constructors. Goose. Looking to make a move once more on Julian. Surely this is it by this point. He's using a bit of boost just to stretch out. And he does get into second place. But with over a second and a half to the leader. Meanwhile, X610 in fourth place on relatively new hards. We'll see how people who didn't hit will, um, will come out with Eurus. Who now finally is in for his first time on a brand new socks. Right behind his teammate on the hard, so there's going to look to be a little bit of a switch over there between the VLO drivers potentially. Julian in third place, he'll be coming in in the next few laps. Those hards dying off now. We've got the first lap car, somehow made it lapped by Rito Goose, looking for a clean passage through as well. Rito's got a couple more to contend with, though. He's got um, Phoenix and Vlad 0204 get past one Vlad, got to deal with the next. What a world we live in, eh? Goose in that traffic at the final corner looked to really close up on Rito there, but this will be hurting him. Not able to use that straight line speed down the straight, um, just being blocked off by Vlad 02. So he has gained some time, about six tenths back. We'll see the next time update where it looks like he is now seven tenths back. So he's gained a little bit of time through those uh, blue flags. Rito been in, lap in on the Hepanek at the moment. We'll look to see the close battles. I've got a report that Julian's backing off into Anti in fourth and fifth. Place, still not into the pit lane yet. And he goes round the outside into the final couple corners. Very, very nice move indeed. Trixie now right on his tail. Has Julian just taken these hards too long? Is he trying to save himself an extra pit stop? It's the only driver to uh, not have pitted yet. Some looking at their third stop over the next few laps. So, very, very alternate strategy. It's not working too badly for him. He is in sixth place, but he will need to come into box very soon. 
got a straight line speed advantage down the road Trixie. That COR is a bullet in straight line and they do get he does get back past and then into the pit lane, a very dignified entry in. Here it's putting pressure on Bluebell Boys, seventh and sixth places, giving you six and eight points respectively. Um, for the race, obviously, points only go to the top ten in this competition, making it more interesting for those battles in the lower top ten to see who gets those pocket points. Uh, Euros just drops back a little bit there. He's got fresher softs than Bluebell has mediums, but uh, just not able to capitalise really there. I'll give you a little bit of a review of the cars of different teams. So, SFR, currently driven by Antics in fourth place. A little bit ahead of Trixie, a little bit behind Goose. They've got an acceleration upgrade and a grip upgrade. That is all. Uh, PMP, who are down in last place and with a sober 15th, uh, have just the grip upgrade. No other upgrades. Very surprising. COR, one of the best cars on the grid. Hence why they're currently, you know, third and what well, she leads into the pit lane now, seventh. Uh, with X Extend leading the race. We've not had a uh, a THX car lead the race since Grandy's back to back victories to start off the season. Lead doesn't last for long, Goose gets thrown in. Uh, X6 now into second place. Goose leads the race. We've got the teammates of Jake and Andrews battling up there for 14th and 15th place. However, not point scoring positions, so they will need to move out of the way for the lead runners. Um, we've got the COR cars in third and seventh, and they've got two speed upgrades, they've got an acceleration upgrade and a turbo upgrade, very very fast car indeed um, SPM currently running in 17th and 12th, have two acceleration upgrades, that's also awesome good for them and one grip uh, FVR have an, uh, an upgrade on everything but turbo pretty overall solid car, that's why they're needing the race <coughs> apologies uh, BAR running in 14th and 15th. They've really struggled for points this season. That's why they're at the foot of the table in the constructors. Uh, they've got um, a speed upgrade, an acceleration upgrade, and two turbo upgrades. They've got the double turbo in the same race weekend. So very lucky they were with that. Uh, VLO, same upgrade as FVR. They've got an upgrade on everything but turbo. THX, also a very nice car. A speed upgrade and two turbo upgrades. They're really fast in a straight line. We'll see if Grandi can prove that here as he gets lapped by the race leader. He does, he pushes him off the track. Ooh, that's not how Goose's race at all. He's maybe even trying to help his teammate. He's perfectly allowed to do that. After all, blue flags are locked. But you do not have to move out of the way. Which will lose you time if you don't. <coughs> Finally, KRT getting their first upgrade a couple weeks ago. Get their second upgrade for this race. They've got one turbo and one grip. And W10 best car on the grid, two acceleration upgrades, one turbo and two grip, no straight speed, um, straight line speed upgrades for them unfortunately, but a uh, very very well rounded car, otherwise we can see that with Trixie in 10th place, having just stopped up and leave, yep, and he's going to look to build his way back up through the field, they're not using a lot of tokens today, those W Tech drivers, just two for Trixie, one for Spooner. Any close battles going on? Of course, we've got Hernandi, Eurist, and Trixie. This is a three way fight for the final points paying positions. Hernandi drops back a little bit on those old hards. We've got Eurist on the hards, Trixie on the same life mediums as Yoshi comes into the pit lane. He was just ahead of his gaggle. Pits ahead of Hernandi pretty crucially. Does block off Hernandi actually, that will lose Hernandi a little bit of time. Comes out ahead of Rito um, and then gets lapped by him. That was obviously Rito, a lap up who is in first place on those hard compound tyres. Meanwhile, Anti chasing down Bluebell Boy. He's got great straight speed going through this first straight. He's not able to capitalise on anything there. They can really close up through that end of the chicane section, but after that, they can just drop back a little bit with the dirty air. X6, meanwhile, chasing down Julian for that final points position. Julian hitting just once so far this race. Game on, goes the car ahead four times, X6 to the inside, into the turn one, does get the move done, lovely, lovely jumbling. Goose, eight seconds back from the race leader, Rito doesn't really need to pit that soon, those hards will last a pretty long time, maybe even just, not even that, um, 
Mm. He wouldn't even have to pit that long for Guso to get off these softs. So if he could maintain that gap on those old cards, it is a big demand against fresh softs. But if he can just manage that, who knows what he could do here today. Uh, obviously, he is using four tokens for this race. The top scorer. Uh, in terms of token usage for this Grand Prix. Goose, though, on a very respectable three tokens. Um, looking to try and take that to him, really. We'll see how they get on. X6 running in third place, also using three tokens. Julian running in fourth place, although he's scrapping with Anti over it. Anti using three tokens. Julian using just one bit. That car, that brilliant car that they have, um, really helping him out in this fight, even if the token usage isn't. He's one of our main championship contenders, as is Rito, uh, as was Grandi to an extent. I don't think he's really going to be in that fight if he can't finish in the points which he proves not to be able to do. Now, collectively, the drivers have spent 19 tokens in this race. Uh, that's the lowest we've seen this season thus far. Um, that's less than one token per driver. Light rain on its way. Will it stick around? Nobody knows. Rito in. Goose in. Um, next in third place, X6 also in. If the clouds are coming back, we get the announcement right about now, maybe in the next 10 seconds or so, so we'll have to have a look for that. And team also in. Only a couple people yet to pit, and they're all in now. Trixie, one of the last into the pit lane, as is Flado too. No heavier rain on the way. Anyone taking the wets will be massively, massively advantaged if that heavy rain does stick around. So X instead. On the wet, three tokens used, he was five seconds back from Goose, who was a few seconds back from Rito himself. Ah, this, these conditions could really play into his hands, but Goose is quite a long way ahead still. If you look at that gap on track, he will look to cut that down, but can X6 take another win, and, uh, not another win, another win for THX and try and revitalise their championship challenge? Well, we'll see. Doesn't look like the rain's going to be sticking around for long, though. And he hasn't really made that much time on Goose. Goose, on the other hand, making up about a second or so on Rito. So we've got a great, great fight for the podium at the moment. But no real close gaps. We've got Jake just behind Levioso at 16th and 15th. Um, I have a look at some others as well. Lev chasing down Grandy. So we've got a three way fight for the out of points positions. Uh, Spooder looking to chase down Nandy for that final top 10 place. Nandy starting in 10th. Would we'll love to finish there as well. Rain starting to go away. Track is drying up. Yoshi in ninth. We've got Trixie in eighth place. A very, very solid car they have. And Trixie's usage of, I believe it's two tokens, it is. Um, really helping him out. Bluebell in at seventh. We really, really appreciate good results today. Now, my own calculations is actually no tokens this race. So I'm not quite sure how he's managed this. But, okay, so Ras, I suppose. Uh, Eurus just ahead of him, also not too far behind Julian, now running in fifth, all the strategy wiped clean of course, once the rain comes, everyone will have to pit for the wet weather tyres, whether that's the extreme wet or the intermediate tyres, and see a good way off X6, who's not really been able to close that gap to Goose, the top three, really stagnant over the last couple of laps, no gap closing at all, but we'll see now as they all come into the pits, X6 is in, Goose, and Rito not so much. If X6 could somehow pull off the mother of all undercuts here, which he probably can, the track is now dry, but he's just a main traffic, which he hasn't been able to do, or just looks to have been threatened by Hemlet. Like he's on the mediums, fresh mediums, versus these old inters on a dry track. He'll close the gap by a bit. It was about 4.9, 4.5 last I checked. Who's getting blocked off by Rito there, but he's still maneuvering his way in on check. X6's progress as these front runners leave the pits. What's the gap? 4.4. Not much of an undercut there, unfortunately. Maybe he's gained a handful of tents, maybe, but nowhere near enough to put it back into contention for the race win. Um, yep, yeah, Goose just two seconds behind Rito, actually. We've got only about 20 laps to go, 19 laps to go uh, in this race. And we've got a big gap between the top three for X6 running in the final corner coming down the main straight to lap his teammate. And he's still right up in the top section of that track, heading down the back straight. Julian right behind him. Julian's on fresh softs and he's on fresh hards. Julian looking to make that move into fourth place, but Anti 
with the strategy advantage with the harder, longer lasting tyre compound here. Looking to just make one stop left in this race where the Julian might have to go for two. Right, all to playful. Still in this race, lots of points up for grabs. Julian, our closest closer in on another car in the top 10. He's just a little bit behind Anti at the moment. Um, further behind we've got Eurus in sixth place, eight points, very solid for him and Team BLO. Not the best for his potential championship challenge. He was up into the top three in the standings, if I remember correctly. Um, not looking so great for that, but eight points is eight points and it all goes towards the tally towards the end of the season. So we'll see how it goes. Bluebell closing in on Eurist. Eurist, let's see how many trophies he's using today. I believe it's just the one that is uh, Bluebell using none, sir. Very, very um, skilled to be fighting in this top seven, despite their limited usage of tokens. Uh, we'll just follow this battle for a little bit longer. Bluebell closing in on Eurus here. Eurus is on the soft slow, so we'll have to see how that works out. It's just maybe not going to gain too much on him. I believe the VLO and the FBR are essentially um, the identical cards, so no particular mechanical advantage, unlike you'll get some of the, the Trixies of the world or the Retos with their super fast cars as well, who have um, lucked into a lot of upgrades this season. So, Trixie, Yoshi, big gaps in between these guys and the uh, top seven. I uh, had that just behind Yoshi, in fact. Uh, let me chase him down for that final point, or the final couple points, rather. Uh, Spooner also not too far behind Nandi, he's made, making some really good ground here, but he's not getting in the way of Andy too much. Andy running up in fourth place. He is right behind Nandi now. So, we'll see if he can make that move into tenth place, into the point scoring positions. He can. Spooner up into the top ten. Bluebell still chasing Eurist, and tail is almost time there. Um, other than that, not much in the top ten for the moment. Just got Bluebell chasing him down here. Uh, that's the closest fight we've got in the top 10 this track. A little bit spreading out, um, or spreading everyone a little bit out at the moment. We've got Julian, one of the first to come back in to the pits after the rain. Uh, he's making his fourth stop of the race now, so he's kind of with that soft strategy, uh, rebalancing back to the kind of level of the pit stops that everyone else was doing. But Vlado too and taking a penalty in the background, they're not sure who that's against. Uh, he is 18 seconds off the pace, unfortunately for him, so we'll have to have a de uh, debrief at KRT and see where things went wrong for him today. Right, Julian, Eurus, hitting, uh, exiting a couple seconds back from him, Trixie in 8th place. Let's take a look back up into the lead of the race because we've got Goose not too far behind Rito. Now, Julia may be looking to hold Goose up a bit. Oh, he tries it kind of last minute. He does get the better drag down through the stage straight. He's going to defend the final shot, couple of chicanes. They're both into the pit lane. Both Rito and Goose hitting both onto the softs for a final stint in this race. Will the softs last 10 laps? Probably. Um, but it will be a bit tricky for them because they'll get intensive wear by the end of the race. The AI sort of love to do this to themselves, really. They, they just kind of take these tyres that will just not really last to the end and then get surprised when they struggle um, at the very, very end of the race. But they, they, they probably should last uh, a decent distance. I think 10 laps is pushing it a little bit, but Goose having taken an extra stop is only a second behind Rito, both now on an identical strategy. So, it's a full sprint race, a grandstand finish, if you will, and we're really looking forward to this. Rito using four tokens, Goose using three. Uh, we've got Goose in his FVR car just chasing him down now, we'll see the things that the FVR has in advantage over them. They have, um, they have an extra grip upgrade, which is really going to be helping them out with some tyre wear. Levioso, the last car to be lapped before Goose could get down to Rito. Rito then laps Hernandi and Bluebell Boy, so back markers definitely 
play a part here just like they did with Julian stopping somehow immediately from beating uh, Grandy in Brest in round two. Goose just under a second away from him here. Uh, any battles further back? We've got Yoshi and Spooder scrapping it out there. Were there? Yes. So we've got just here Spooder right behind Yoshi, their teammates uh, of. Uris also not too far away, we've got Rito coming up to lap with both his great view on the race lead. We've got 10th and 9th right here, we've got 1st and 2nd right behind, we've got to go back up to that front too. We do have Goose right behind Rito, Rito gets the better straight line speed as you'd expect in that very fast COR car. Yoshi and Screener, maybe their battle will not really help Goose out at all here. Very, very possible. Goose needs to get to the outside. High risk move. He does pull it off. He just needs to stay ahead of his back markers. He does pull that off as well. He's clean through and ready to chase down Rito. It's a straight merit fight here. Dependent on whose tokens will work for them better in this final, final five laps of the race. Coming on to the final four here. Goose just getting a bit of better traction through that final chicane section. You really do need the tyres to be a good nick for that. Now with them struggling with tyre wear right towards the end here, really hard to tell who is going to be able to win this race. Um, but the grip upgrade for Goose will definitely help him out. So, three tokens Goose is using. To win a race on three tokens is very, very good economy that you're getting over eight points per token used for this race and basically the entire season is getting as many points per token used as you possibly can. Uh, that is that's the end goal. You want to use the most efficient and smart strategy in order to be able to get yourself that. Goose dropping back a little bit here. Maybe the straight line speed of that COR not helping him out. Yoshi does get a penalty for pushing Goose wide in the final corner, that's about right there, Goose's gap. Now 1.7 seconds, now 2 seconds, is he going to be able to do it? He's just losing it a little bit at the end of the race here. Oh, how heartbreaking for him, Uris looking to unlap himself here. Not really a sentence anyone wants to hear in any competition. Um, and he does get back through, it looks like we won't have that final lap shootout we've got. Julian just behind as well, he's running in 6th place, he's battling Uris for 5th, 5th very very good result for Uris recovering up through the field and it looks like Goose's size just suffering, but all credit to Rito in a season where the championship for him and for his team looked very much on the cards, he stood up today and he's delivered, Rito wins the Season 1 Turkish Grand Prix, a very deserving victory, and Goose, in a very solid second place, comes home to take that silver medal. XXN in a very underrated race, using his three tokens today, he's come home to take third with Anti, not too far behind in fourth. Uris, up in fifth place, scrapping with Goose on his in-lap, funnily enough. Uh, will he make it to the line? Maybe not. He's battling Julian here for the final position. So it's like Julian just got that in time. And Julian will take fifth place off him. Great for COR. Heartbreak for Uris. He would have loved two extra points there. Rito wins with the fastest lap of the race. Keeps up the record of the pole sitter winning every single race. Very interesting split. Goose using three tokens. It's 12 seconds ahead of exit. Also using three tokens. So maybe much more successful upgrades, much more well-rounded car for FBR really coming in clutch for them there, taking three extra points. But all credit goes to Rita today. Anti in fourth place, his first points of the season. What a way to take them, 12 points for the finish driver. Julian right at the end grabs fifth place off Uris. Uris in sixth for VLO. Bloomer Boy using no tokens today, takes seventh place. Brilliant result for him. Trixie in 8th, Yoshi in 9th, a double top 10 for VLO and a double top 10 for WTEC. Spooder in 10th, just missing out on the points, but by about 10 seconds or so, is Nandi Andres in 12th and his teammate Jake Grant in 15th, making it another race for BAR without any points. Levioso in 13th and Sobel in 14th between them. Hemenek 
16th place for him, Grandy, another disappointing race, takes 17th, somehow made it in 18th, Golden Phoenix in 19th, and well off the pace, it's Vlad 204, very last place. A very entertaining race today, I really hope you've enjoyed it, classic Sunday League virtual Grand Prix, and we'll see you very, very soon for the next race in South Korea. Until then, bye-bye.